my girlfriend and me, we have this one little argument. Who's unloading the dishwasher more often? This is just a little household problem, but I'm a developer and I want to solve things in a developer way. So I've built a little device here. It's a Raspberry Pi connected to a speaker and a display and two buttons. And whenever I unload the dishwasher, I now press my button. It plays a nice little ka-ching sound and it mints automatically a dishwasher token into my Solana wallet. And if now my girlfriend unloads the dishwasher, it plays a nice little harp sound and she gets a token. And like this we can now cheat proof figure out who unloads the dishwasher the most. And the winner will get a free dinner. So yeah, first I want to explain you how this MP3 chip works because it's actually really cool and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So it's MP3 TF16P, but you may better know it under the name of DF Player Mini MP3 Player Module, for example. So we need definitely one of these. And we also need a 3 watt and 8 ohm speaker. So, and then we need to connect these. So I wrote actually a nice documentation here uh, in this repository. So you can just scroll through here and you find everything there. And especially another readme for this MP3 chip. And I also wrote you actually a Python library that makes it super easy to use. So first let's see how it's connected. So here we can see the pins. So you need to think of it like the other way around. But um, we can see that here on the left, the so first thing we need to connect is a 3 volt or 5 volt. Then we connect it to actually our serial input. So the serial input makes it so that from the Python script we can actually communicate with this thing and actually tell it like to play a certain track or to play a track by name, to play something in random like uh, or change the volume and all that stuff. So it's really cool. And then here on the bottom, we are connecting actually our speaker. So here I connected the speaker, the two cables, to the two cables that you can see here in the docs for speaker minus and speaker plus. And then this little black cable here just goes to any of the ground ports on the Raspberry Pi. So the connection is pretty easy. And then you just put like a bunch of MP3 files directly on this chip and then you use it. And I want to show you how easy it is to use with this nice Python library I wrote. So you can just create a new MP3 player object with the port that you have connected it to. So probably it's serial 1 uh, or serial 0 for you as well. And now I'm here in the Raspberry Pi and I'm actually connected to it via SSH. And now I'm just running this example script here from the documentation. And I want to show you how this sounds like. So I just write Python test pi. Ah, did you hear it? Let's do it one more time. Bring, bring. So that's actually the sound from uh, when my girlfriend mints one of these tokens. So yeah, that's the MP3 chip. It's super easy to use. Give it a try. You could also build all kinds of other cool projects with it, like a jukebox or whatever, when you press a button. But now let's see how this screen here works. So you remember that in the last video about the Solana bar, we had like a tiny screen, which was very easy to work with. This one is a little bit bigger, but um, it can do so much more. So you can have like different colors. You can have 240 times 280 resolution. It's crazy. You can play games on it theoretically. The, um, the frequency on how it uh, refreshes is not super fast though. But um, yeah, first you need to connect all these cables here. I mean, uh, it looks a bit intimidating, but I wrote you here in the docs. I wrote you which cable you need to connect to which pin and then you're basically good to go. So now let's see how you can interact with it. So I also added you an example here that you can use for a hello world. And now let's SSH into this script here. And let's say hello YouTube and now we close this and we run the script and now let's see how fast this uh, updates. So the script is running. We can see it's refreshing. We still have the old text here and now it says hello YouTube. So yeah, it's very powerful. You can have like different colors. You can have groups. You can have different texts. You can also use pillow for example to show images here. So lots of stuff you can do with it. Um, check out that presentation, like the documentation, and let's get to the interesting part and do the token minting. Minting a Solana token is actually very easy, but I made it even easier for you. So I wrote you a little script which mints the token for you. And all we now need to do is to update the JSON metadata and the image. 
So I go in here and I want the dishes token. I want the symbol to be dish. I want six decimals and I want to mint 1000 of these on Solana DevNet. And I also replace the image here with like a little dishwasher image. And now I just run the script and it will mint us a token. So first it's uploading the image. Now it's uploading the metadata. Yeah, and now it's creating the mint of the token. It's uh, creating 1000 of these token and mints it directly into my wallet. And uh, now we can also see the token already. So here we have the token mint. And I just gonna quickly look at it in the Solana Explorer. So I paste the mint address in here. And now we can see our token. So here we have our dishwasher icon. We have 1000 of these. And we also have the attributes here and the metadata and so on. So what you would now need to do if you want to build this yourself is you copy all the scripts over to your Raspberry Pi. So, um, yeah, put the um, scripts in the right position. And then we can now finally combine the whole thing together. So I just gonna call Python button mint with display and mp3 uh, script. And now it's combining all these three things that we built before together. So now we have the MP3 chip here, which will be triggered when I press the button. The display will show the current token amounts of the wallet one and the wallet two. So we can see I currently have um, 57 tokens and GG has um, 60 tokens. So now it's updated the token amounts. And now if I press my button, we can see it's checking my account, getting pressures and sending something. It's just too fast. So Solana is very fast. But now it's successful. And now I have this token in my wallet actually. And like this, we can now always directly compare who has more tokens. But um, maybe let's very quickly go over the script that is actually running here on this uh, Raspberry Pi. Because I want to very, very quickly show you how this, uh, how the minting works. So this is actually a Python library for Solana. And here we can see we just create a new client uh, using the RPC URL. In this case, we are connecting to DevNet. Then we mint like uh, 1 billion tokens. This is, we actually mint one token, but with nine decimals, we need to mint a few more. And then we just call our mint2 instruction and we mint a new token into the wallet depending on which button was pressed. Now let's see who won the restaurant visit. So it's end of the week. I have exactly one token more than my girlfriend, so I'm getting a free pizza. And I think that's so cool because we built this absolutely cheat-proof system. Like no one can cheat, it's absolutely everything. Every token is on the blockchain, everything is verifiable. No one could ever cheat this. Wait, what? So in the end, we decided on a draw. <laughs> So as you can see, we decided on a draw at the end. It wasn't that cheat proof after all, but you can do so many cool things with tokens. So for example, uh, you can teach your kids how to work with money. You can mint them tokens on button press. You can maybe turn this whole thing into a game where you add a little LED to the Raspberry Pi. And whenever it blinks, you need to be the first to click it or something like that. Or let's say in the morning, you want to go jogging and you create a token that uh, counts how often you go jogging and you can only mint it in the morning at 7 a.m. and the button is directly next to your jogging shoes. So if you're already there at your shoes, you might as well go jogging. Or you can, for example, just use it like we do in our current uh, weekly Q&A dev meetings where we just press a button whenever someone answers the questions. And who knows, maybe we get a nice present from Jacob in the end, who answered the most questions. Yeah, but uh, try it out. Um, experiment with tokens, you can do so much stuff with it, especially now that you have it actually on the Raspberry Pi. You can press different tokens, you can mint to a bunch of different wallets, you can automate things, you can just do it all in the script. So if you want to see more of these projects, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, write some comments. I also put the whole source code, the documentation, the Python library for the MP3 chip and so on. I put it all in the comments and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.